this really does top the lot, and I'm not knocking Grand Prix. There's 16 of them every year, and if you're lucky enough to go to them, that's marvellous. But there's only one of these. Apart from seeing just the cars and the public, it's seeing the drivers you haven't seen for years, you know. You're in the change room and say, oh, it's Emerson, you know, how great. It's just fabulous. I've seen Giacomo Agostini riding his MV Augusta. I've also seen René Arnoud riding uh, the Renault turbo car, and it is fantastic to see that from my side, and it's also pretty enjoyable to be able to thrash an 800 horsepower car up the hill as well. You drop the clutch, you switch off the TC, because it's much more fun. Up first, second, third gear. The trees are zooming past on both sides, then it's hard on the brakes through the 90 degree right-hander, just making sure you're clean and tidy through there, and then up to the next right-hander in front of the house. This one opens out. There's a bit of adverse camber on exit, but up in, through the gearbox, under the bridge, fifth, and then into sixth gear before hard on the brakes. 50 of the world's finest cars gather here on the lawns of Goodwood House to compete in the Cartier Stile Lux. But this is more than just a concours d'elegance. It's a unique celebration of the art of great automotive design. And the prestigious best of show is hotly contested. I think the best one is, the, is actually funny enough the one that looks like the hearse. I like the 1970. Consensus was finally reached and the best of show was unanimously awarded to the 1951 General Motors Le Sabre. I think it's great, you know, it's, it is a fantastic event. For the first time I, I hellied in and to see everything, it's just amazing. The amount of people here and all the different uh, things going on, uh, it's really good. And um, it's good that everyone can get so close to the cars and to the drivers and everything. And it's, it's, it's probably the best event to go to in, in the world for Formula, Formula One and for motorsport. Probably the best weekend of the year to actually get close to the cars. You're not at a distance, you can actually go up and, and look at them and, and talk to the drivers and uh, it's just uh, nothing else like it. It's my first visit here. I'd heard about it, I don't realise it was such an enormous event. It really is enormous, especially from the air when you see it for the first time. It is absolutely fantastic. Juan Pablo Montoya here, and there are 200 Colombians just flying over to see him do four runs up the hill. It's just brilliant. The smell and the speed and excitement, it's just great. You know, you've, got to, you've got to be here, you've got to do it. You've got to be come here once in your lifetime anyway. The cars are, are driven for the spectators here, whereas on the track they're driven for the business and the sport, which is, you know, doesn't necessarily go hand in hand with spectator enjoyment. You can get closer, drivers wander around, so it's a good day out. No place like this. You just can't. You can't do this anywhere else. And the atmosphere is just—it's incomparable. There's so much more sensory overload. I, there's just too much to absorb here. It's too rich. The, the sounds and the smell. Castrol is a Chanel number no. five.